Here are my measurements. These are my steps. This is my weight. This is the salmon meal I'm talking about. The artichokes used for the chicken meal. Here's the chicken meal. Pizza. Burger casserole. Hi, welcome to Krista's journey to lose 100 pounds. So this week I lost 1.5 pounds and 1.5 inches. Yay, so excited. Um, so this week was a little crazy. Um, so the mills got moved around a little bit because um, that's just what worked for us. And I actually had a couple random mills, which was a vegetable soup. And that's what we start off with on Monday is some vegetable soup which I think was pretty keto. Um, and I also had leftover salmon. And then for Tuesday, I had some more of the vegetable soup and, um, oh, what else was it? Uh, oh, I went ahead and made the chicken mill. Um, and then on Wednesday, I had the um, stuffed chicken and the pizza and some ice cream, y'all. I cheated a little bit. So I had a little bit of ice cream. It was a really small thing and I only ate like half of it. And then the next day I had a little bit more ice cream. So Thursday was some stuffed chicken and pizza and that ice cream again. On Friday was the uh, burger casserole and two breakfast quesadillas. So these quesadillas, you really do need to to get full off of it. Um, and I like it with a little bit of salsa and ranch. And there was actually enough to make eight quesadillas and then um, a little bit left over. And the little bit left over was great for my kid. I actually made sure to put the spring mix in there. So it was like a little mini salad for my kid, the leftovers were. And he loved it. And then I love having spring mix and like everything. So it was really good. Um, sa Saturday, I had the burger casserole and breakfast quesadillas again and a glass of red wine. Y'all are seeing it was a stressful week. Sunday, I had the steak and pumpkin smoothie. Um, so everything was good for this week, and I actually haven't had this pumpkin smoothie yet because um, I'm recording this on Saturday. So I don't know if the pumpkin smoothie is good yet, but everything else of this week was really good. Um, no complaints there. And then next week, because I was feeling a bit guilty about that ice cream, I threw in some keto desserts as optional. I don't know that I will make these. We'll just wait and see how it all goes. Um, but I wanted to have the option um, so that I don't have something that's completely not keto. So um, those sweet tooth options are the cookies that we've made before. And if I make them, I plan on turning them all chocolate chip and then I might use a little bit of the jam that I have left over to put on those. Or the other option was keto brownies. Um, and remember all the links to everything is down below. So on Monday, I plan on having the steak and smoothie leftover. And then on Tuesday, I plan on making the sausage cabbage breakfast that was listed above. So I intended to make that, um, this past week, but, uh, life changed. So, um, I'll make that this week and then Wednesday, da, 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 okay, so I made the cabbage and then, um, 
Oh, I plan on making a spaghetti type meal. Um, so for this, I just plan on using three pounds of deer meat. I've done it before, it turns out great. Don't worry about the uh, three cheese blend that he is particular about. Any three cheese blend will work. I've even used just a Mexican blend and it's done just fine, you're good. Um, so Wednesday is the same meal. Thursday, again, I'll have some spaghetti and I'll make the shepherd pie. So hopefully I can actually find the turnips in the store. If not, you can make like a uh, rice cauliflower mash or you can cheat and just have some like a red potato mash on top. Uh, I've done both in the past. Uh, and then for Friday, I plan on having the shepherd pie and stuffed salmon. So this stuffed salmon recipe, we're gonna make it just like we did, well, very similar to the stuffed chicken. And I'm actually gonna add the artichokes from that as well because it was really good. And um, for that, you will need like a side item of like some veggies or something, just like a bag of the veggie mix um, that you can throw in the microwave, that'll be fine. And I also put on here a baking option for that because I just feel like that's gonna be so much easier. Friday is the same meals from then. Oh, and that chicken recipe from last week, um, you also need to add like a vegetable with that. It wasn't filling enough on its own. So Saturday, I plan on having the shepherd pie and um, some kung, kung pao chicken. Uh, so she is pretty particular about this kung pao recipe. I altered it quite a bit. So the... Um, and then on Sunday, I plan on having the Kung Pao and my breakfast. This breakfast meal is something that I've done in the past. Um, so I'll go ahead and list that recipe. But if you're already following me, I'm sure you're used to that recipe by now. So that's the plan. I hope you lost weight. Like, subscribe. Thank you.